Hello, Bob here, old school gamer, Atari hat, in my bedroom, from now on I guess. Uh, don't really have anything to complain about, I just wanted to talk about a few things. Number one is I opened World War Z, and I played it. It's really good. Uh, it plays a lot like Left 4 Dead mixed with The Division. Uh, so if Left 4 Dead and The Division got together, this would be the result of it. This is a, It's a really good game. A uh, lot of, of uh, things that I read and reviews and stuff said that uh, you were able to level up your weapons. That's not exactly how this works. Uh, you use the weapons, and there is a, a, like a level bar... But instead of leveling up the weapons, what it does is it unlocks other weapons for you to be able to use the currency in the game that you that you get for completing the matches and stuff. And then you have to buy the better weapons. So the weapons themselves don't actually level up from using them. It unlocks other weapons and you still have to buy them. So I just wanted to mention that. Uh, the other thing is it's... Tuesday, uh, Mortal Kombat came out. I picked mine up yesterday. I've spent quite a bit of time with it, and oh my god, I must say this is good. This is one of the best Mortal Kombat so far from what I've played of it. Uh, I did get the, the uh, what do they call this? The Premium Edition? Premium, premium Edition for the uh, PlayStation 4. And uh, it comes in a steel book. It's inside the, the thing, Steelbook, in there. Uh, premium Edition comes with six new DLC playable characters. Uh, one week early access to DLC characters when they're available, I guess. Seven exclusive character skins. Uh, gear sets for customization. Uh, so far, this is really good. Uh... Control's good, combos are good, and I love the end boss. Uh, Kronika is one of my favorite Mortal Kombat end bosses. And I, I, you know, that's a tough one to say. Usually, Mortal Kombat end bosses are like cheap and, you know, one hit from them. Like Shao Kahn in Mortal Kombat 2 was, oh my god, he would hit you with like one hit and half, I mean, pretty much half your health was gone. Which was which was insane. Kronika uh, cheats, more or less, but it's but it's a fun cheat. You have to fight her, and then uh, after you take away a little bit of her health, she spawns in a character from the game. She she leaves, and a character from the game comes in. They have all their moves, and they fight the same, but they're weaker, so they're a little easier to take out. After you beat that character, she comes back. Then you have to fight her again. Then she leaves, spawns in another character. You take out that character, and then she spawns in for the last time. So basically, you have to fight her three times and two characters that she spawns in, uh, at least on the easier levels. I don't know if you if you go up levels, if she spawns in more characters or, or how that works. Because like I said in a previous video, I'm not an Evo player, so I'm not looking to be... <laughs> I'm not looking to be aggravated right now, so aggravation is not a thing. Easy levels. I'm having a blast with this. This is fun. Another thing I wanted to mention is uh, I picked up... <laughs> Don't ask me why. I'm I'm weird, so and I don't like money. I throw it away, basically. I picked up Mortal Kombat 11 for the Switch. Uh, haven't had a chance to play this yet because... I know this is going to be a hard one to see, but down here at the bottom, this little warning thing, which uh, for anybody who has a Switch, or if you don't have a Switch and you're thinking about getting it, when you see the, the packages like this, usually the warning label is a big white bar across the top. They didn't do that on this one. They put it at the bottom, and it literally says, Download Required See Back. So when I looked at the back of the game case... It says that there is a uh, download requirement of at least 20 gigs. So I'm going to need to go buy a, uh, a card, like a memory card, uh, before I can 
before I can do this because I don't I don't have 20 gigs so I won't be playing this just yet but I do own it uh, the Mortal Kombat Premium Edition also came with uh, I don't know if every place was doing it but I know GameStop was the uh, first people in line got a uh, Mortal Kombat lunch box like a metal metal box I didn't get one of those because I didn't really feel like standing in line and fighting people over a lunch box so whatever they can have it but I did get the uh, as they were advertising the scorpion mask this is a little aggravating I don't know if you can see that it comes in a little bag feels a lot like a uh, like a pillowcase that's that's the feeling I'm pretty sure this is a do-rag with uh, Scorpion's face painted on it. I'm not sure because I haven't opened it. I really have no interest in it, but that's the that's the thing you get. It's a waste. It's not really a Scorpion mask, which is what they were advertising. You know, get a mask and this is it. It's uh, whatever the hell this is. Also, for anybody interested, also uh, what came out yesterday... Well, today it comes out. I picked it up yesterday because uh, GameStop allowed me to do that. Was uh, Dragon's Dogma, uh, Dark, Dark Arisen, I think it's called. It's a role-playing game, I believe, for the for the Switch. So, uh, try to get the glare off of that. I like that picture. It's a pretty cool picture. So that came out also. So, anyway, I just want to make a quick video to say hi. Uh, you know, get out there and go play some games, like I always say, because get out there and go play some games. Uh, Mortal Kombat is good. World War Z is good. I'm um, having a blast with this stuff, so uh, I'm going to go play some more Mortal Kombat, because right now my system's on and and uh, it's running the demo and stuff. I can hear it. You probably can't hear it, but I can hear it. And uh, I'm going to go play some Mortal Kombat, so get out there, go play some games, like I say, don't matter what it is, play something, play on your phone, play on tablet, console, you know, if you have access to an arcade, uh, I'm fortunate enough to where I live by the Galloping Ghost, which I believe is now the largest arcade in the world. Uh, I'm not even going to say how many games they have. I'm, I'm pretty close, pretty sure they're close to uh, to 1,000 games. They might have like 900 and something games i'm i'm unsure uh jeff if you're watching you can you can correct me on that because you're you and uh thank you to everybody that that subscribes and watches these videos i know i ramble i probably repeat myself my mind goes all over the place video games it's what it's about video games so until the next video thank you for watching Thanks.